Hello, it's Sarah Poet, and I want to talk to you today about going back to basics. It's a really big time on the planet. There is a lot of destruction, things falling apart. There's also a lot of awakening, and oftentimes we don't have the awakening until something falls apart. So if something is disassembling in your life, and there's a lot of potential upheaval, whether that's just what's going on around you or what's going on inside of you, um, it can really be the opportunity for an amazing life change and amazing awakening. So whatever is going on for you right now, I want to encourage back to basics information. I have been feeling this deep calling, <laughs> deep urge to go back to basics and also to share this message. So here, I'm just going to talk about a few really quick things. One, you, I didn't know if my video was recording. One, we're going to make the inhale and the exhale the same number of seconds or take that exhale a little bit longer than your inhale. Anytime you're elongating the exhale, you're actually sending a message to the brain and to your nervous system that it's time to regulate. It's time to come out of the stress, the sympathetic arousal and back into a parasympathetic, a more rest and digest state. So literally, multiple times a day at this point, nothing fancy. I'm sitting down and being with the breath. Back to basics, inhale, exhale, and you'll notice these belly gurgles. You'll notice um, that feeling after a cry that's like, <sighs> you know, that's the rest and digest kicking in. And we want to allow for that. Okay, tip number two. I want you to consider getting your feet on the ground or just even imagining your feet connected to the ground and, and a deep connection. Now, this might sound, you know, too hippie or something like that. Mm -mm. I work in physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual, energetic um, areas of life in everything I do. And while I am a deep esoteric healer, uh, I can also be really practical. So what I want to share with you is that your imagination is creating. Your imagination is literally um, really, really powerful. So when you imagine the connection to the planet, you are plugging into something that is literally emitting a grounding energetic, a grounding electromagnetism. And our very fast paced world uh, with all of the mobile devices and computer screens and you know disconnection from the planet is actually frying our systems. Everything comes back to the nervous system, back to basics everything comes back to the nervous system. So we need to nourish the nervous system through whatever disruption we're experiencing, through whatever awakening we're experiencing, whether we're being cracked wide open in something that's pretty painful or whether we're having an okay time and we just wanna to get to our you know, next level, quote unquote. So nothing, none of that personal growth happens without a regulated nervous system. It truly doesn't. True change happens with a basis of, um, you know, this, this homeostasis, this pleasantness in the nervous system. So whatever you're going through, you can be going back to basics, finding your connection to the breath and the core of you, and then finding your connection to this planet that we live on, and just noticing that connection in really simple ways, simple ways, and letting yourself get down to the parasympathetic response. All right, try that. Let me know how it goes.